Hello and welcome all my dear second standard students. How have you been? I hope you all are great. You are doing good in your studies as well as keeping care of your health. All the dear second standard girls and boys, welcome once again to the grammar lecture. This is Rohan sir from Mahdi English Medium School. Students, I hope that the previous grammar lecture in which we were revising the topic apostrophe was very useful to you as many parents as well as the students demanded that we have forgotten the topic or we need to recall the topic of apostrophe in the different ways and so we did in the previous lecture. Now as I am getting the demand for the revision, I am selecting the topic accordingly and majority of them have now selected another interesting topic for the revision. Before starting that, I'd like to present a beautiful thought before you given by Nakwi Shabahat Fatima. The thought is the future depends on what you do today. This beautiful thought really means it has a big meaning like what you do today has a great impact in your future. If you sow the seed today, you will get your plant in the future. So the way you keep care of your seed, you will get the plant accordingly in the future. This is a really great thought given by Sabahat Fatima. We thank her to share the wonderful thought and we even expect that a lot of the students will share the wonderful thoughts with me so that I can present on the screen in the lecture with their names. Now students, what is the planning for today's lecture? We are going to revise chapter 14 prepositions. So my humble request is those who are having the textbook, they will not take it out. Yes, you heard me correctly. Even if you have the textbook, you will not take it out. You will have to carry your rough book with you. Because throughout the lecture, if I ask you to note down something, you will note it down in the rough book only. Why? Because those who have solved it in the textbook, they also have to solve it second time. So don't just sit with the folded hands. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Open your rough book. Give the heading chapter 14 revision. Be quick. I hope that you have started giving the heading. Chapter 14 preposition so you will learn what is preposition how and when can we use the preposition in English language so also don't forget to mention today's date in the date column given on the top of the page I hope you people are getting ready with your books and heading. Needless to say that the heading should be written in the header part of the page. Now let's get started. Now to display the textbook PDF on the screen. You don't have to take out the textbook. You have to just keep the rough book with you. Like I said, as you can see on the screen, this is your textbook chapter 14 prepositions students let us discuss this word first of all let's let's just understand the meaning you know every name in this grammar has the meaning why is this chapter named only preposition see preposition means what have you heard the word pre primary preschooling right so Preposition also has its deep meaning. First of all, let us understand what is position. If I ask you what is position, what will be your answer to me? Sir, position means the way we sit, where we sit, exactly the location, right? Yes, here it means the location. It shows the position. So particularly the word which navigates, which points out the position of the noun or pronoun that is called preposition. 
Now, very simply it is written here. I put the keys on the table. Where did you put the key? Under the table? No. Beside the table? No. On the table. So the word on shows that key is on the table and nowhere else. Similarly, Eva went to the shop. Did she go near the shop? No. Did she go on the top of the shop? No. To the shop means inside the shop. Here again, to shows the position. Where did Eva go? Again, if you can see the next example, the dog jumped over the fence. Over the fence means from the top of the fence. Again, the word over shows the position from where the dog jumped. And similarly, the children slept at 8 o'clock. So, when did they sleep? At 8 o'clock, not around or not after. Again, this shows position related to the time. So, basically, preposition in your standard, you have to just remember that it shows the position. Yes, preposition also has different levels of understanding. But for your grade, you have to just understand that it shows position. And that's it. Wasn't it easy? I'll give you a couple of seconds to observe these examples. Please read and observe. Read each and every example and the highlighted preposition within. Because the self-understanding is the best thing you can do in the grammar. Okay. Now the definition. The highlighted words are called prepositions. A preposition is a word that shows the relation of a noun with the other nouns in a sentence. Now, when I say I put the keys on the table, it shows the relationship of the key and the table. Where exactly is the key placed? On the table. So it shows the relationship. See, mark my words. It does not connect two sentences. No, that is the work of conjunction. Here, it connects two nouns and it shows the position relation between the two nouns right i put the keys on the table keys and table are connected with the word on it shows the position and the relation of the key and the table right so this is the work of preposition again i'll give you a couple of seconds try to read this two to three times the more you read the more you will think the more you will think the more you will be able to understand the meaning I hope you are reading the definition. Okay, now let's move towards the exercise. One has been done for you. Actually, you have to circle the preposition in the sentence. And you have to identify the two nouns between which preposition is making the relationship. But here I will just decrease your work. You will have to just circle the preposition. That's it. The task is you have to also write the questions. So I'll give you a couple of seconds. Till then I will be explaining you the first sentence. I'll be reading the second and third question. Start writing question B and C as fast as possible. Question A. The vas fell on the floor. Or you can call it vas, flower vas. 
the flower vase fell on the floor now two nouns given here are vase and flower the floor now what is the connection between the flower vase and the floor because the vase fell on the floor so on shows the relation of flower vase and the floor isn't it so that's why on is preposition which is already circled i hope that you have written question b i already asked you to start writing question b leave two two lines after writing question b and c respectively and that is the reason why i asked you to take out the rough book because otherwise you only have to write the answer as your writing practices are left i am asking you to write so that the more you will practice the more you will be able to increase your speed okay now question b is she watched the sunset from the window she watched the sunset from the window this seems to be very easy right question c sumit is going to the market i hope that you have started writing question c as well she watched the sunset from the window sumit is going to the market trust me it's really very easy if you just try to understand the concept if you will try to mug up the answer you will never be able to write the answer in the exam especially in the grammar subject it is just like a mathematics subject you have to practice you cannot mug up the answer the method will be the same question will not be the same so don't try to by heart the answer okay i suppose you should have finished writing question b and c by now let's solve it she watched the sunset from the window here relationship between sunset and window is defined by the word from so from is preposition here did you select the same answer if not then please circle the word from as you have to circle that's the reason why i asked you to write the sentence so that you can circle the answer so the relationship between sunset and window is shown by from next sumit is going to the market so here the relationship between sumit and market can be defined with which word what position is given where is sumit going you will say that sir to the market yes so that is the answer to t o to it shows the position that he is going to the market market is the place but the position we can show using the word to so circle this word to so again the relationship between sumit and market is defined by the word to okay now please quickly write question d and question e you have got exactly 1 minute for that question d my uncle laughed at our jokes question e the pens are in the drawer please write these two questions as fast as possible my uncle laughed at our jokes the pens are in the drawer i hope that you have started writing question e and you have completed writing question d
so it's pretty easy now i'm giving you a couple of minutes to find out the answer try to find it out without the help of anyone my uncle laughed at our jokes the pens are in the drawer i hope that you are trying to find out the answer as well the more you will use your brain the more you will be able to get the confidence by solving the answer so students i hope that you have tried to find out the answer let's solve this my uncle laughed at our jokes why did my uncle laughed at our jokes on what at our jokes so at shows the relation between the jokes and uncle because he laughed at our jokes the pens are in the drawer where are the pens here the position is given in the drawer in the drawer that means inside the drawer it shows the position as well as the relation between the drawer and the pens isn't it so now it seems to be very easy right now please write question h and i yes i will ask you directly to write question h and i come on be fast be quick write question h question i in your rough book question h i woke up at 3 o'clock i woke up at 3 o'clock see many of you don't know how to write o'clock 7 o'clock 5 o'clock so learn this as well apostrophe mark is there after the letter o i woke up at 3 o'clock okay next question the rabbit is hiding under the bushes the rabbit is hiding under the bushes so now try to find out the preposition from these two questions i'll give you a couple of minutes and students please make sure don't take help of anyone as much as you can understand you know solve it because you don't have to just you know run for the answers answers anyways you will get it from anywhere you have to try to understand the method now find out the preposition from question h and question i it's pretty easy if you just try to understand the sentence okay now let's solve it i woke up at 3 o'clock at what time at 3 o'clock so at shows the relation between the time and you at what time did you wake up at 3 o'clock nowadays you have rosa right you keep rosa you keep fast so you might be waking up at 3 o'clock or 3:30 for offering namaz and for your all the rules according to the rules so this sentence is very much related to you right okay next the rabbit is hiding under the bushes under shows the position where with if you see the relation between the rabbit hiding and bushes is shown using the word under 
under the bushes not on or behind it's under the bushes yes again very easy i told you it's really very easy try to understand the sentence that's it and i hope that you have circled these words after writing the question now now students give the heading exercise 2 fill in the blanks this is the last question for today's lecture just give the heading question 2 sorry exercise 2 fill in the blanks you can write it on the same page after leaving two lines or you can write this on the new page you don't have to write these options these are the just options given so that you can select the preposition and you can use it in each blank let me tell you one preposition will not be repeated in two blanks so one will come in each blanks for each blanks new answer will be there yes so use your brain properly to solve this one answer may seem to be fitted in two blanks so you have to see where the answer will fit the best way okay now i'm giving you time to write the first two questions first two questions question a and b please write down the island yes this is island this is not island many of you pronounce it like island no that is incorrect the island is surrounded dashk and ocean surrounded dashk and ocean i hope that you have started writing question a question b sanya wrote dashk a pencil sanya wrote dashk a pencil now i suppose you should have finished writing question 1 question a and you must have started writing question b be quick i'll wait for the couple of seconds for you to finish writing the question this exercise is as interesting as the first exercise was and as easy as it was because here the preposition are already given you have to try to fit each and see which fits the best in which blanks this is a very easy task right okay now i suppose that you should have finished writing question b girls and boys be quick okay now you have few seconds try to find out the answer for a and b and then i'll write the answer for the same your time starts now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay see the island is surrounded dash can ocean can you say at an ocean to an ocean in an ocean no you can use that island is in the ocean but it is surrounded when the surrounded word is used that means you cannot use in surrounded by an ocean so by is the answer for number 1 by an ocean and i suppose you should have written the same answer you all are smart enough right next sanya wrote dashk a pencil can you say in a, in a pencil how can you write in a pencil under a pencil uh, that is also not possible can you say with a pencil yes so with is the answer for question b sanya wrote with a pencil you can use the pencil for writing 
So with is the correct word, correct preposition. It shows the relation between Sanya and pencil. She wrote with a pencil, using a pencil, that means the same. I hope students, you are writing the answers. Now after completing that, write the last question for today. Question C. The plane flew dash the city. This is not plan, this is plane. Pronunciation is different. The plane flew dash the city. Oh, again, this is very easy. I'll give you a couple of seconds to complete writing the question. The plane flew dash the city. I hope that you have almost finished writing the question. Okay, now try to find out the answer. You have a couple of seconds. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Okay, so the plane flew dash the city. Can you say in the city? No. How can the plane fly in the city, inside the city? Under the city? Uh, as far as I know, plane does not go underground. Can you say over the city? Yes. Because it goes over the city. It does not touch the ground. It goes from the upside. So, over the city. Right? So, with this, I end my today's preposition lecture. In the next lecture, we may continue with some of the other exercises related to preposition. I may even bring the worksheet for you. Be ready with the rough book even in the next lecture. Till then, keep good care of your health. Keep washing your hands. Have a nice day. Goodbye.